Hey everybody, it's Robert here with Faith Family Food and Farm. It's potato picking time. This is our barrel potatoes. Total experiment for us. We've never done it before. Just like a lot of y'all watching this video, you've seen it on YouTube. You've seen different videos. I couldn't even tell you who all we saw, but it's on YouTube. There's a lot of people that have done this. From what I can tell, so far very successful. You can see these greens. These all started down here. This is what we used. I'm not endorsing them. I'm telling them this is what we use. This worked for us. I bought it at Lowe's. It was like five bucks or uh, seven bucks, something like that for the bag. Um, but this is what we use. Started at the bottom. We planted slips. And then as the greens would grow up, we'd add more and add more. Now the dirt level is about right here. As you can see, the green tops are here. They're starting to fold back. They're starting to die off a little bit. We're in the heat. And uh, yeah, I can see a lot of them are starting to die. It might be a little bit early, but you know, we're gonna do this. These were planted in late February, early March, which is later than you should be planting potatoes. You know, the old timers rule of thumb is on Valentine's Day, February 14th. And uh, you know, if it works, why mess with it, right? But um, these were planted late February, early March because I'm a procrastinator. So we'll move this out of the way. We're gonna dump this over on the tarp, go through it, put the potatoes in here. And the reason we're using the tarp is we wanna save the dirt in here. So let's see what happens. Okay, I'm not a patient person, so we got hay for it. And uh, let's see what we can find. I'm trying to be somewhat gentle so I don't stab the potatoes. <laughs> I got one! I got one! It's going over here. Did I mention it might be a little early? That's a potato. We're finding potatoes. We're finding potatoes. Once we get some of this out of the way, we'll probably be able to dump it over. It's just so root bound and packed in there. Oh, let's see another potato. I hope we get more than three. It's a beautiful Saturday. The, uh, the sun is shining. We just got some rain. It is uh, Memorial Day weekend, 2022. Ooh, look at him. Y'all look at him. They're not big. And some of y'all would say, oh, there's Aren't an edible cute? one right down there. Aren't they cute? <laughs> but they're potatoes. We have never been able to be successful at growing potatoes before. And y'all call these tiny, I call them bite size. And you can see the slip that I started them in right here. Right there. And these came from store-bought, didn't get eaten potatoes. Or were these... Um, local feed store. Local, okay, so these are growing slips. Not store-bought. My bad, edit. Here's another one. That's a nice one. Now some people, 
it's easy to want to put a monetary value on it. You know, say, oh, well, it's cheaper to get them at the store. And in some cases, you'd be right. But there's a couple things to consider. And that is, one, the satisfaction of growing it yourself. Two, being just a little less dependent on outside influence. Just a little more self-reliant. And three, the accomplishment of knowing, hey, look what God allowed me to do. Look what God enabled me to do. Because once you can grow this, you're on your way to learning how to grow this. So let's go through here. And I'm going to invite my lovely wife to come over and join me. Maybe explain to me what is that. <laughs> and join me in harvesting our very first real potato harvest. So come on over. Look, Shorty. We got potatoes. Pick it up. Pick it up. Get it, mommy. Get it. Get it, get it, mama. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, Papa. Ooh, it's muddy. Hmm. Found one. Oh, here we go. There's a little one right here. Covered up a little one. They grow literally from the little eyes that you put in the ground, and they just get bigger and bigger. Look, there's one right there. For those of you that may not know, hmm. potatoes, you don't grow them from seed. Here. You grow them from cut slips. No, yeah, that's, the, that's not the part we eat, Mama. There's another small one in the same hole. You cut them, you let them scab. You do that about a week before. And then uh, let them grow for, oh, what, three months? We've been letting these grow. So well, they could have gone a little bit longer. We got a lot of rain the other day. But make sure if you do a barrel, you have a way for the the soil to drain. Otherwise, what's going to happen is it's going to sit there and just get soaking wet. That water's going to stay in there. Give it to daddy. Give it to daddy. That water's going to stay in there, and it's just going to start molding and rotting, and that's not good for anybody. You know, for the probably $20 I spent on soil, could I have bought these potatoes? Of course I could. Let's not pretend like we couldn't. But we know to start earlier next year. But for that $20 I spent on soil, could I replace this time that I'm spending with my wife and daughter? Not a chance. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll separate these greens out. Compost pile. We'll throw those in the compost pile. And then we'll take this soil and we'll put it back in a container and we'll use it for something else. So we may find more potatoes and we'll update you when we get our final uh, potato count. Look, this is what I saw last time on those down there, little teeny, teeny, tiny ones. And then there's those. Because these did not have eyes on them like they should have when I put them in the ground. Hint, I didn't expect any potatoes. But so far, I've got at least one off of each one I put in there. Oh, yeah. When did you plant those? I planted these when you're supposed to. Right around uh, Valentine's Day. But like I said, they didn't have any eyes. And so I didn't have time to wait for them to grow eyes. But it's either eyes or don't plant next time. And that's just done with the hay. Even though I put grew it in the hay, they actually grew in the dirt. So you just set them on top of the ground and put yes. hay on top of them? Yeah, I didn't dig at all. Did you even turn the soil at all? Or no. Just compacted soil and it, just they clay. still worked their way into it? Yeah, for sure. How awesome is that? Beautiful. God is good. Hay is deep on these puffins. And this is just old hay that really isn't even feedable, is it? Uh, I give it to my um, rabbits and my chickens. That's about it. Yeah, I think we got it from a 
a horse guy who wouldn't feed his horses because they'd been exposed to the weather for too long. Right, And uh, was gifted to us. So. Always a purpose. And I'm not gonna pull everything up. I'm just pulling up the dead ones. Just, just, just for grins. Like this one I know is not gonna have any on it. I think I pulled it up. There's no viability left in the plant. You have nothing to lose at that point. Right. It's like a zero risk. I just think it'd be neat to show Ellie. Look how bright that is. The ones in the clay definitely took on a lot more color than the other ones. Anyway, just, just a little teeny tiny one on this one, but some of these didn't come up till months after the other ones. I say months, month and a half, I guess. <laughs> She's a cute. What do you think about that, Ellie? Show me your bucket, About Mama. our potatoes. Is this big one? This one? There's lots. Even these red funny ones. Look at a little <laughs> small one. Two of them. And we even picked these little babies. How awesome is that? Right off our ground on our little farm, huh? Yeah. The good news is there is a local farmer's market for the and deficit this, this red year. One. <laughs> Did you help mommy with the, with the potatoes this year? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you going to go ahead and harvest everything? Look, 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 look. No, this was another dead one, but look. Go over and see mama. Look, look, mommy, look. What did we get? I don't think there'll be one. any more. Oh, but right. mama's going to go under it with the forks just in case. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, look at that bright red Oh, one. look. I may have missed some in another spot, too. Look at that, mommy. So I, I would one. say, these ones. Yeah. if I buy the proper potatoes next year, the hay method will definitely work. Here, baby. And I would say one. really, especially price-wise, they may it may work better than the barrel method. Because here we have two different methods. Now, granted, there's a time difference. Good job, Mama. Okay. There's a time difference. I'm going to have to probably tear up that whole patch to get that out. Or you can just leave it there. It ain't going to hurt nothing. Like, Lord, please don't let nothing bite me. <laughs> You think you can get in there without disturbing everything around it? We have a black clay. Ooh. It's very wet Ooh, under here. I just Look stuck my hand in a puddle. Oh. At least I hope it's a puddle. Look what but I, I see found. some potatoes. Huh. I see a potato right there. What we're trying to do right now is just kind of surgically select until we get a little another week Look, or two. Another week or two, and we'll probably be harvesting all of these. Yeah, there's nothing else here. 